All right, welcome back everybody. So today we're going to be making this background bokeh style animation. And in case you didn't know, this is actually built right into DaVinci Resolve. You barely even need to do anything. So this is going to be a really quick one. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the first thing we need to do is open up our effects library. If you don't already have it open, go to effects and drag and drop a fusion composition into your timeline. I'm going to make this about 15 seconds long just so we have a little bit more to work with. And then we just open up the fusion page. From there, what we're going to need to do is create a background. Now I'm going to make this a sort of royal blue color. And from here, I'm going to create our seething uh, fast noise. So just click on the fast noise like I did there and make sure the background is set to the background. The fast noise is set to the foreground and then open up your fast noise. I'm going to click on that little button there or you can push the number one to put it into your left side screen. And let's start adjusting this. So to get some movement, we just have to increase the seethe rate just a little bit. And I'm going to turn down the scale just because I don't want to see that much of the movement. You'll see if we turn it up, there's going to be quite a lot of this effect, but that's not what I want. I want it to be just a very subtle amount of movement here. So I'm going to bring it down somewhere around 1.2. And I'm just going to turn the seethe and the rate up just a little bit more, and then we can adjust the color. So go into the color tab, pick whatever colors you like. I'm going to pick teal for my first color and this pinkish purple for my second color. And then you'll see if we merge this to the media out, we don't have any of that transparency. That initial dark blue background is coming in behind our fast noise. So if I just scrub through here, you can see that there is a little bit of movement and a little bit of something going on. That's our background layer. Now to get the actual bokeh effect, what we need to do, make sure our media, or make sure our effects library is open, open up the templates, go to fusion, and then open up the particle section. From there, drag and drop the bokeh full frame into the project that you're working on. And then let's just quickly create another merge. So click on your first merge, shift space to bring it up, type in merge and hit add. I like to go this way just so that we know it's going to properly orient them. So from the outputs of the bokeh, put it into the green triangle for the foreground and you can already see the effect there. Now the bokeh effect that's built in is a 1080p uh, resolution, but my project timeline is 1440p. So all I have to do is drag it out. And if this is the color scheme that you like, you're done right here. But let's say you don't like these teal colored bokeh balls. Well, you can change that pretty easily. I'm just going to move this down here and then double click to expand it. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and to change the color, we open up the particle emitter, which is this first P emitter number one and double click on it. Now, if we open up the style, then you're going to be able to change your colors here. But let's say I wanted them to be pink. You can adjust that there. But as you can see here in the color variant section, if you want them to have a little bit more variation, then you can adjust that there as well. So let's say I wanted these to be greenish. There we go. I wanted them to be orange. There we go. It's that simple. If you wanted to change anything else in here, it's all going to be done through the particle emitter and a little bit through the particle uh, turbulence. So just play around with the settings if you don't like exactly the movement that you're seeing here. But honestly, what DaVinci Resolve is built in is pretty good if I'm going to be honest. And there we have it. If the video was helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. 
and make sure to check out my company ToonSquid for free background music and some DaVinci Resolve templates. And until next time, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye now.